Hello everybody and welcome to another video on the channel and this one's going to be one that I think is going to make a lot of people happy. Now, a lot of the negative reviews and a lot of the things that people have been saying is, look, I totally get timelines, but it's not for me. And I think Egosoft may have secretly just done something that's going to make you all very, very happy. Now, to me personally, I'm not happy. I'm not going to do this personally because it's one of them I, I, I'd rather play it where I go through everything and that's what we're doing with the new with the new stuff. And obviously we're going through timelines as well. However, there is a way you can unlock everything without playing timelines. Yep, you heard me. How? I'm about to show you. So, we have the custom game editor creative mode. If we start this, I've bumped into something, and it was definitely not there a couple of days ago. And I could be wrong, but I don't remember it, and I've never seen it before. Go to your storage dates. Originally, mine looks like this. Now remember, modifying means that you can't get the achievements. However, you can still play the game just fine. However, this here at the top was not here before. Hide story states that have not been unlocked yet. Spoilers. This is a spoiler alert. If you don't want to know what I'm about to tell you, then turn this video off now. Okay, cool, let's go. Uncheck it. Now, as any of you have caught my stream today, I'm recording this straight after the stream, you will know that I have only got to graph four of timelines. I have not unlocked the storyline for timelines. However, I can now choose. And you can choose what level you want to go at. So if you want to complete, you know, the, the bit that you want to complete, you want to complete the open universe bit, which is the bit, the epilogue, then you want to choose quite a nut. Because then you've got, you completed the timeline's epilogue, which is the grandmother. However, if you want to complete that in your sandbox, then choose the quite not. You have completed the story in the facility and have an open path to revelation. This also works for everything else. All of it. If I choose this here, HQ with Boss of Time, Dal Booster, you will now know I can have everything. Completely unlocked. Everything. Bear in mind, it classes it as modifying. But you can literally go, I want to complete everything. You can also choose which ones you want to do. So maybe you want the curbs, Victory for the curbs. Coop of curbs, patriarchal withdrawal, colonial police, Victory for the patriarchal. You can choose which ones you want to do. Like so... I'm just going to choose the bottom of everything. There we go. That now unlocks all of the stuff that you may want to unlock. There are obviously unlockable ships that you won't get in here, but they will have all of the other ships that you can have. So maybe you want the experimental ship. There you go. It's yours. Have it. Enjoy. Boom. Start the modified game. So. Boom. Unlock the blueprints for all of that crap. Look at this. Look at this. Come to the same containment facility. You can now unlock, uh, undock at the Duke's Buccaneers. You've been granted the rank of Ministry Helper. So there you have it. Everything is unlocked. You also get... Let's just turn this off. Your Kingdom's End. Because obviously you unlock that with your Boron stuff. And your HQ. The only thing I didn't do obviously was the research. But you can see the research is all there to do. And I've got my experimental ship. So there you have it. That thing's enough. Pack a punch. 
But if you don't want to play timelines, don't play timelines. Go unlock it all and play your low creative mode and enjoy it. You deserve it. So there you have it. Hopefully this video helps you out and you can now play the game a little bit more to your liking and you don't have to worry about timelines if you really don't want to do it. However, I do strongly suggest that you play timelines because it's got some fantastic lore and you're going to ruin the lore for yourself. However, some people don't want to play the lore. They just want to shoot things and build massive empires. And I'm all for that. Do whatever you want to do. It's, it's really your choice. Like I've always said in any of my videos, play the game how you want to play it. Don't play it how it's supposed to be played in the terms of what everybody else expects you to play as. That's it for me. Hopefully this video has helped you from going from I hate this game to okay, now I can tolerate this game. Or okay, I'm on the sidelines to I'm buying timelines. If this video has helped you, please let me know in the comments section. Hopefully it has. As I say, it, it's, it's something that I don't particularly want to do. But I know a lot of you have been asking about just wanting to play the game. And you can't fault them for doing it. So, as I say, leave a comment in the comment section if you want to leave it. Remember to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. And remember, you can join us on our Discord for any more X4 stuff as well. But until next time, everybody, take care. And I shall see you all in the next one. Bye-bye for now.